Hey everyone, it's Blar, and in this video, we are going to go over the six layouts in Act 3 Slums so you can learn how to read them in a layout crash course. Following that crash course, we will do a guided walkthrough where I will run through a bunch of instances of slums till we get all of the six layouts so you can see my read method in real time and what my thought process is in terms of navigating the zone based on what we're actually seeing. So let's get started. So Slums in Act 3 has six layouts. There are three left layouts and three right layouts. With the left layouts, essentially the way you're going to tell is you're going to have a left start, which essentially just means that this little entrance path will point towards the left side. Um, you'll see it right there. And then for the right start, you'll see the entrance pointing towards the right. It's as easy as that. Next, one thing to keep in mind is that with the left start, we'll have two of the left layouts where essentially the crematorium or our pathing to get to the crematorium will be forced to the left. Conversely, on the right layouts, we'll have two right layouts where to get to the crematorium or where the crematorium actually is, it will be on the right side of the zone. The remaining layouts for both will essentially force you to go the opposite way of how you started. So with the one of the layouts in the left start, you'll be forced to go to the essentially right side of the map. Likewise, on the right start, one of the layouts will force you go to the left side. Let's get into looking at the actual layouts now. So our first layout is going to be right slums free right essentially what will happen is we'll get to the start we'll notice that the entrance points to the right side and then from here we are going to try heading to the right and see what happens you'll notice that pretty much nothing impedes our movement and eventually we will be able to head upwards after like four or five screens like a pretty good amount of time once we can path up, we're going to do so. And essentially we're gonna keep pathing upwards until we run into this boss diamond here. All layouts have the boss diamond where it is in each layout differs, but there'll be the unique mob that's essentially in the middle of this platform. Once we sort of see that this boss diamond is there in the free right layout, that is our cue to head to the right to find crematorium next we have the late right right slums it looks a little bit like um free right we're going to generally head to the right side of the map however unlike free light we aren't going to be able to go freely right right away instead we'll have to go up a couple to a few screens and then we'll be able to head right and what we'll do once we head to the right is essentially we're going to keep heading right until we hit the right or east border of the map. And then we're just going to follow that up and around as it wraps to find the entrance to crematorium. Next, we have the right block layout. So unlike the previous two right layouts we looked at, we won't be able to really go to the right side of the map at all, or like way over to the right. Instead, we're gonna be forced to the left to find the entrance to crematorium. So as we go out, we're gonna to head to the right from sort of the entrance. You'll notice we get blocked, and then we're gonna head up it. If this were the previous layout we looked at, late right, it would open up to the right, right around where this little like alley is, but here the block just keeps continuing. Once we see that this right block keeps continuing, we know we are going to be in right block because we are blocked from going essentially any further right. Um, and so we know that the crematorium is going to be on the left side of the map. So once we identify the right block and we identify that it's not the late right layout, we will 
keep heading along the right block all the way till we hit the top border of the map. And then we'll follow this top border around the map to find the crematorium. Next, we have the first of the left layouts. Here, this is the left wrap layout. Essentially, sort of like the free right layout, the left wrap layout will allow you to pretty quickly go freely to the left for a while. Once we're able to go to the left for a while and we come across this wall that stops us essentially from going left, we're going to head down and around to wrap around this little left block and then follow the left border of the map all the way up to find the crematorium. As we're doing this, the difference between this layout and the next layout there are a couple difference, but differences, but one primary difference between the left wrap layout and the next layout, which is the south diamond layout, is that you will not see the boss diamond while you're traversing this layout. The boss diamond instead is up this way in the left wrap, la left wrap layout. Next, we have the left start south diamond layout. It's going to look a lot like the left wrap um, one difference is, is it's going to force you a little more up before allowing you to go left. Regardless, in either left wrap or actually in all of the left layouts, you are going to follow this left entrance wall to see what happens. Right. So uh, you'll see that we can take a left. We're going to take this left. And then we're not going to get forced downwards anywhere. And instead, we'll be able to notice that we can turn upwards. And by the point we can turn upwards, we'll be able to see the boss diamond. Once we can see this boss diamond and we've head, head, headed left, we're going to head up along the left border, essentially, and then curve in just a little bit to find the entrance to the crematorium. One thing to note is that depending on layout RNG or and how it's like generated is that there can be a shortcut essentially that allows you to path pretty quickly to crematorium where this little area will have a bridge or set of stairs that connects. It's not frequently there, so it's more efficient to just path the route that you know that's guaranteed. So I will often not check this, but it can be there. Finally, we have the left block layout. Like all other left starts, we are going to sort of try heading left or follow the left entrance wall uh, from the start and see what happens. Here, you'll notice that we get left blocked right away. Once we get left block, we are going to head, turn around and head uh, right slash up pretty much all the way to the top border of the map where we'll come across a staircase for sure. And then we will follow that top staircase um, that we see or the top border all around the map till we find the crematorium. So again, we'll get blocked to the left. We'll head right up all the way until we see a pretty far staircase or we hit the top border of the map. And then we'll follow the top border to the left around the map until we find the crematorium. One thing to note is that there is quite a common skip here. I will often check for this skip when I'm doing speed leveling. If I'm in a race, I probably wouldn't do this. But if I'm in a speed run, I'll definitely check for this. Uh, and the way we check for this, essentially, instead of going all the way up here, we'll just hug this wall here. And then we'll see the boss diamond. And once we see this boss diamond, we're going to head to this corner where the skip can potentially be. If this skips there, there'll be a little alley right here, essentially, um, that you can use something like Leap Slam or Flame Dash, Lightning Warp, whatever movement skill you're using that's essentially not Dash or Frost Blink to be able to um, get across the gap. And essentially, you'll just be able to connect right here and then go to the left to find that crematorium. All right, that is all of the six layouts. So let's actually do some run-throughs in the guided walkthrough. So first, thing, first things first, 
I am in a left layout because the start of the entrance path points to the left. So when I'm in a left layout, I am going to follow the left entrance wall uh, to the left and see what happens. Here, I see that there's a block. The block continues, so I know already that I am in left block. Once I identify I'm in left block, I'm gonna head to the right slash up all the way until essentially I see a set of stairs allowing me to head to the left or I hit the top border of the map. Here's the top border of the map. Once I hit the top border, I'm gonna follow these the border itself to the left up these stairs and keep sort of hugging that top border all around to find crematorium. There you go. Now, I'm not gonna reset the zone yet because I'm gonna go check for that skip that I mentioned just so you can see how I would actually go about checking for it. So we will go um, to the left. We'll notice the left block again. I will hug this left upper, like this left upper wall essentially, head to the right and up. I'll notice the boss diamond. Then I'll head to sort of the right corner of the boss diamond. And then I will check to see if this little alleyway connects. Here it doesn't. There's nothing for me to traverse to. So the skip wasn't present in this generation of the left block layout. All right, let's reset, see what we get for the next layout. All right, I am in a right slums layout because the entrance path points to the right. I'm gonna head to the right immediately after the entrance. I'm gonna see what happens with the zone. If I can head freely right, which I can here, um, I'm going to do so until I'm offered the opportunity to turn upwards. And you see here that I am offered that opportunity. So I'm gonna head up until I find the boss diamond or the start of it. And then I'm gonna head to the right. Here's the start of the boss diamond. There's a unique boss. Then I'm gonna head to the right to find crematorium. All right, we are in a right start layout again. We're gonna head to the right, see what happens. I can keep freely heading to the right. I'm not sort of stopped and I didn't have to travel a few screams upward before I could, which means we are going to be in the free right layout again. So I'm gonna head to the right. Ooh, actually, this is interesting. We see this boss diamond here. So this is a unique variation of the uh, late right layout. Usually this will not connect. In the late right layout, I'm gonna pull up the screenshot real quick so we can look at it. In the late right layout, you'll notice that the boss diamond is sort of in the south corner. What happened in this generation of the layout is this actually connected. Nice little bit of RNG. So one way you can tell the difference between free right and late right is in free right, the boss diamond is always sort of along the top border. And in late right, if you have a weird RNG like we have in the actual instance we're running right now, um, the boss diamond will be to the south. So, nice little piece of RNG there connecting usually doesn't. We're going to path it like it wouldn't. So, we're going to do late right. Now, we can see that we can head to the right for sure. And then, we're going to head right until we hit the right border of the map, which is right here. We're going to follow it up and around to find the entrance to crematorium. And there you go. How the, the bridges sort of to crematorium connect can be a little bit RNG sometimes, but essentially once you get to the point where you're following the, like the top right, uh, like the right border up and around and you've reached those staircases, um, you know that it's gonna connect. So it's okay if there's like a small dead end you run into, it's just a minor backtrack to actually find the proper path uh, or a proper bridge to get there. So in this instance, we see that we have a right start again. We are going to head to the right and see what happens with the zone. We get blocked right away. That doesn't mean that this isn't a light, like a late right 
but it might be. So we're gonna try heading to the right again. We get blocked again. If this was late, right, it'd probably be opening up right about now. It doesn't, so we know we are in right block. When we're in right block, we're gonna follow the right wall all the way up until we essentially come to stairs that allow us to go to the left. And then we're gonna keep following this top border uh, up and around. And then you'll see that what ends up happening is we'll find the crematorium. And again, you can sort of see what I was mentioning where you just have some small RNG bridges um, there. Not a big deal. You know that you're supposed to just keep following it it around until it opens to find the crematorium so don't get like distracted or distraught if like there's a small like dead end stair there all right we have a left start we're gonna head to the left of the entrance see what happens it looks like we're in left block we are so last time i went straight up without checking for the skip this time i'm going to check for the skip right away so once i realize i'm in left block I'm gonna head upwards to find this left wall here and I'm gonna follow it along to the boss diamond. This is the start of the boss diamond. I'm gonna check the right corner of the boss diamond to see if the skip is there. It's not, if the skip was there, I would be able to connect. We can actually see some like shadows of a mob over there. So it's just off screen, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So if the skip's not there, what you do is essentially you just backtrack. And then once you can head up and right again, that's all you do. And you'll do this until you come across stairs allowing you to go towards the left along the top side of the map. And we'll just follow the top side of the map uh, to Crematorium. All right, we have a right layout of some sort. We're going to head to the right, see what happens. This looks like it's going to be free right. When I keep heading and once we can turn up, we're going to, you see that I can turn up. I'm gonna turn up. And then once I come across the boss diamond, which will be towards the top border of the map, which is right here, I'm gonna head to the right to find crematorium. All right, we have a left layout. I'm gonna head to the left, see what happens. This is going to allow me to actually go left. So I know I'm not in left block. Once I'm allowed to go to the left, I'm going to follow the wall to the left and see what happens. I see the start of the boss diamond and I'm not forced downwards to wrap around something, which means I'm going to be in the south diamond layout. Once I see the start of the boss diamond, I know I'm in south uh, the south diamond and I'm gonna follow this left wall up and around to find crematorium You might have to sort of go one screen to the right. This is a very common dead end here once you get up these stairs um, But not a big deal. This is also usually skippable which I'll show you right here. Hopefully uh, Maybe not is my flame dash attack without moving It is not skippable. It is skippable with lightning warp. So it just depends um, and let's get another reset in to see what we have going. We're going to head to the right here. This is a right start. We're going to see what happens. We see that we get blocked, so this is probably not free right. If it opens up right around here, it's going to be late right. We're blocked again, so this is going to be right block. Once we know we're in right block, we're going to follow the right border up to the top of the map, and then follow the top of the map to the left to find crematorium. All right, we have another right start. We'll head to the right. We're blocked, not a big deal. We still have to check for late right because it can happen. It looks like there is no late right because we're blocked. So we're gonna be in right block again. We're gonna follow the right wall all the way up until we hit the top border. 
follow the top border left and around the map to find Crematorium. All right, we have a left start. We're going to head left, see what happens. We're going to keep following the left entrance wall and see if we're forced downwards by a blocking wall. We are. So this is the left wrap layout. We're going to follow this down and around and head upwards along the left border of the map to find the entrance to crematorium. Chaos orb. Ooh, we got a chaos orb drop. Nice. All right, I would like to find one more layout um, in the right for late right, since we had the weird RNG generation of it. We'll see if we can do that. So we're in a right layout. We're gonna head to the right, see what happens. We're blocked. If this is late right, this will open up to the right in about a screen or two. So like four screens after the entrance. It does so it appears once it opens up to the right. We are going to head all the way to the right until we hit the right border, head upwards, and just keep following the right border of the map around to find Crematorium. And then we'll just skip that, not, not a big deal. You can occasionally skip this with Flame Dash, right? Just depends on the distance of the gap. All right, let's do two more instance resets and then we will wrap up the guided walkthrough. All right, we have a left start. We're going to head to the left after the entrance. We are blocked, but it opens up to the left again eventually. So we know we're not in left block. We're going to have to see what happens if we come across the boss diamond as we head left. We know we're in south diamond, which we are because this is a boss diamond. Once we know we're in south diamond and we see the south diamond, we are going to head left and up along the left border to find the entrance to crematorium. And then here, we will just skip that over to the right, and there it is, crematorium. All right, last layout. Let's hope we get a nice one. It would be very cool if we could get a reset of the left block. So actually, I might try and fish for that, where we have the skip present. So we have a left layout. We'll see if we're in a left block or not. We're gonna keep heading left. We're gonna come across the boss diamond here and we're going to know that we're in South Diamond. So we'll fall left and up to find crematorium and we'll just skip that. No problem. Okay, I lied. I said one last reset. We're gonna fish for that left skip layout. The best we can that's the right layout so we're just going to reset that this is a left layout looks like we're blocked so this is a potential skip layout we have the left block we're going to follow this left wall up to the boss diamond and then once we get to the boss diamond we are going to go to the right corner of it which is right here and we're gonna to check to see if there's a skip. And you can see there's that little piece of terrain that's right there. That is our skip. And we can skip that with Flame Dash or Leap Slam. It looks pretty far away, but you can hit it. And once we do hit that skip, we're just going to head to the left along these bridges to find a Crematorium. All right, awesome that we were able to fish for that pretty quickly. Um, that was all of the six layouts. We saw some decent layout RNG generation. We saw the skip happen occasionally. We saw it not happen. We saw that sort of unique generation of the late right layout and just generally how to go about navigating the zone to find crematorium efficiently. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been helpful.